With a new year, a new intro for the channel. Let's go explore some planes. So this is super interesting. So out here there are little patches of yucca, which are what these are, these little spiky plants here. But what you'll usually see are just like kind of single isolated bushes, right? Just like these single things just sitting on the landscape. And they're still so just like dramatically different from all the other plants around it. But for some reason, and you know, I this is one of those moments where I really wish I knew more botany because my my plant knowledge is you know just relatively non-existent. So there's something like seven different yucca bushes that are all planted into the ground and super tightly compacted around each other. And it's just super interesting to see how tightly they've all grown together here. Like it's almost hard to distinguish one bush from another in a way that you can when you see yucca and you're wandering around out here. So that's super neat. So speaking of yucca as shrubs, I've always been under the assumption that yucca was a lot like grass or something where it has like really, really like kind of fine roots in the ground. And I randomly found this bush here that got removed from the dirt. And it turns out, and I had no idea about this, that yucca actually has this like really big extended beefy stem, almost like a tree-like growth that goes underground. And I genuinely had no idea that that was the case, right? It's, so it's really fun to wander out here and stumble upon something that all of a sudden teaches me some new aspect of plant biology that I had no idea. And you know, I've lived in Eastern Montana all my life and this is the first time I've actually seen a out of the ground yucca stem because you know, I don't often go around digging out you know, plants. So that's really sweet. That's a really cool find. absolutely love all of these subtleties in the landscape in eastern Montana. Just these small gradations from the, the yellow grass to the brown dirt underneath that then leads up into the sandstone and other things in the distance. Compared to western Montana where there are all these mountain vistas, which I also love a great deal, there's something about this quiet, subtle, almost reflective beauty where you have to really digest it and watch it and let it speak in its own way that I just love about eastern Montana. It's just so amazing being out here. Not seeing all that much out there. It's uh, pretty windy and uh, I think 
there's possibly some rain starting to come in, so I'm gonna work my way uh, back to the vehicle and see if I can spot anything else on the way out, but beyond that, despite the horrible weather, it's really been a nice, beautiful time out here. Catch you in a bit. All right, well, I think that's it for the day. I had a really, really nice hike out here. And, uh, you know, despite the grayness, it was super beautiful. I just really, really enjoy these plains. I love even looking at this road that goes down those yellow grasses and all of the, these kind of little small white blades of grass blowing around. It was, it was a really nice day. Kind of definitely look forward to uh, going back, probably doing some laundry because <laughs> My pants are just like completely, oh God. Because my pants are just completely soaked with mud. And uh, yeah, it's just a solid, solid day of hiking. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're new here and you're not yet subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed the adventure out here, uh, please subscribe. I post all sorts of uh, outdoors adventure videos, things on wildlife biology, because I'm a wildlife biologist and conservation, those sorts of things. And so I think with that, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna head down to the river on Friday and then to Yellowstone National Park again on Sunday. I'm really, really excited to see what kind of footage I can get out there. So that'll be it for me. Till next time, wonder and wonder, everyone.